pretty much making a pumpkin pepper right now. Not too sure why. It's, I guess the pleasures of cooking. Whoa. Oh, peppers, how much I like the taste of your red amazingness. Hello, everyone. Cooking some supper today. Thank you all for joining me on the most random cooking channel in the world. Cat, seriously, get off the sink. Get down, you're a cat. You don't drink from taps. You drink from a bowl. Get down. My goodness. Unbelievable, this cat. I used to love cats. I used to love cats. And now, ever since having Rue, her name's Rue, and actually my favorite cat in the world was called Rue, even though technically her name was Rachel, uh, this cat, named after the legacy of Rachel, is a pain in my ass. So anyway, thank you all for joining me, folks. My cat only drinks from trap from tap. Did I just say my cat only drinks from traps? My cat only <laughs> drinks from taps. Yeah, mine does too. That's why she drives me up the frickin' wall. Might as well show you her. Come here, kitty. I'm gonna be famous. I guess not really famous. Hello, I'm Rue. I'm annoying. I hate everything. Is that a Fallout shirt? It certainly is. It's a Fallout shirt. <laughs> I've just got, I've just finished work, tired, so I thought I'd uh, cook some stuff with you guys. You know, we've done a cooking with Matsmas before and I know you guys really liked it. So, uh, so today's menu is chicken and vegetables. <laughs> That's pretty much all we're cooking, folks. Nothing exciting, really easy. Um, I have no interest in cooking fancy meals. Plus, I'm on a bit of a, a uh, bit of a strict dietary routine right now. I have decided to stop eating a ton of sugar because it is just really bad for you folks. And I am a true sugar addict and it's not a good thing. Um, I, I, when I mean a sugar addict, I'm not kidding, man. Like I drink sugar, like liquid sugar all the time. I eat candies. I am bad with my carbs, like constantly eating pastas and all that sort of stuff. So I'm trying to get healthy again probably not the best time to really select becoming healthy again because I'm about to go away for three weeks uh, coming up fairly shortly with the army reserves to do my training course so normally when you go away on exercises and training the food isn't exactly the most low calorie content in the world considering that most of the time you're going to be eating MREs so yeah it kind of sucks that uh, I'm going to be going on a diet and then probably we're just going to throw it down down again, so I smell bell peppers. I'm eating bell peppers. Mm, so good, man. Bell peppers, most amazing thing in the world. I've watched all your videos. P.S. Do you own a PlayStation with Far Cry 5? Logan, I don't have Far Cry 5, but I do have a PlayStation 4. I just never play it um, because I love I love computer gaming. I just it's just where I'm at. What do MREs taste like? They're really good, actually. MREs are really, really good tasting. Um, it depends on the menu you get. You know, you get different menus. So someone's perspective or opinion on one meal may not all mean that all MREs suck. So, you know, you can get used to them. I will definitely admit this. British ration packs are 10 times as good as American and um, Canadian. That's just me because I feel that the British ration packs have a lot more quantity than the Canadian uh, American MREs. Obviously a British ration pack is to last you for 24 hours, uh, literally. And uh, the MREs aren't really, for me, lasting you that long. So and they, they taste good. It's not like what's better in terms of taste. They both taste equally good. You've also got to remember that like most of my military life has been eating British rations. So of course I'm gonna have a preference from British rations because I've eaten them the most. So. That's not saying that I don't like MREs. I actually still think they're absolutely delicious. People who don't like rations baffle me. It's like the food is loaded with fat. It's loaded with calories. That means it's got tons of taste, tons of flavor. Um, yeah, I don't see the problem with it. You know, some of the dehydrated stuff, I can kind of, I can kind of get that. But for the most part, I mean, you can't see what I'm cooking here, folks. I need to bring this down a touch here. There we go. Let's move over so you can actually see what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, British MREs or British ration packs, um, they're just delicious guys, absolutely delicious. Okay, we're getting some bell peppers cooked up here, big old red beauties. 
So, so good. You know, the, uh, the diet that I'm on right now is stay away from rooted vegetables, like anything that grows underground, stay away from, because it's full of starch, full of carbs, uh, which isn't a bad thing. You know, everybody's, there's so much out there that says, oh, you shouldn't eat this and you shouldn't eat that. There's no such thing as shouldn't eat something other, other than it's being poisoned for you. But for me, like, I'm over, I've been overdoing it with the carbs for so long. You know, potatoes, chips, cookies, like, cereal even. Like, I eat cereal religiously. You know, everybody says... Cereal is something that you can eat at any point of the day. I would definitely agree with that. I can eat it just about at any point of the day. So I'm reducing carb intake hugely. Um, I have to because, you know, it's not good for my health. And I finally kind of stepped back and said, Matt, get a grip of yourself. You never used to be this way. You've become a lazy civvy. You've got a desk job for the most part now. You need to get back into it and start uh, getting healthy and fit again. Is it going to last long? I don't know. I mean, everybody says that getting fit is really easy. You know, it's so easy. It's not. It's not easy. Um, when you're in a lifestyle that allows you to do it, like you do PT all the time, you're in the army, you're running all the time, you're doing the PT, then sure, it's easy to do. But if you're in a lifestyle that isn't really very uh, focused on fitness or health and, you know, good food, it's freaking hard, guys. It really is. And I always thought when I was a soldier, uh, oh, I'm never going to turn into a fat, lazy city. I'm going to come out of the army. I'm going to do tons of stuff, keep myself fit. For the first three years of my exit, hell, cat's been crazy again. From my first exit from the, um, well, first, I guess, year, two years of leaving the army, I was really fit and I was keeping fit and I was doing a ton of stuff. But now it's like four or five, what's it, 2000, yeah, quite a while ago now. It's like nearly, holy cow, that's a long time. It's been a long time since now. Let's see what you guys are talking about. 51 of you have decided to join today. Any vegetable that grows underground because they have starch and carbs. That is very true, the skipper. Hey, man, why'd you leave the army anyway? Uh, I left the army because I wanted to try something new. Get out of Canada. Get out of Canada? Get out of the UK. Try a different lifestyle. Um, you know, I think, hey, Mike, thanks for liking the channel, bud. But that's why I kind of left. I was getting to a point in my career where I'd had enough of where I was at. Um, and I said, you know what? It's time to... It's time to move on. It's time to try and do something else, jump off the cliff, do something completely different. Uh, and I did, and it's paid off pretty good. But that being said, I still obviously miss my military career hugely. I miss military lifestyle so much. It's the core to me. Um, so, you know, I, I, I do struggle being away from the military or the army. But that being said, I'm back in the army now temporarily, you know, part time, I guess. But it's fantastic. You know, it's, it's great to get that ethos of the military back inside again so anyway i'm gonna keep uh, cutting up this pepper so i can get some supper on because i'm freaking hungry folks i've hardly eaten anything today uh, being i'm on this specific dietary routine so uh, i'll come back and chat to you guys in a second just do some more cutting here uh, in fact uh, let's see if we can move it over so i can still hey ggcl studios thank you for your donation my buddy i really appreciate that you didn't have to do that but thank you very very much i bought a new helmet british rifleman what helmet did you buy teach me tell me I'm trying. Let's see if we can sit down as we do this. Standing up, you guys can't see me. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm using a bar stool, which is just as tall as I am, but we'll try it. Uh, there we go. I can still cut and talk. Perfect. I might go back to the something. You didn't answer the rest of it, so okay. My dad's bike was stolen. Oh, dude, I'm sorry to hear that. That sucks. You can't. You know, the world and thieves, thieves just aggravate me to no extent. You know, people work hard for their money and, you know, it just, it just makes me sick. Thieves are just the scum of the earth. Hello, I didn't bother filling this in. What are you making? I'm making chicken and just vegetables, folks. Extremely boring, nothing fancy. Uh, I'm on a bit of a strict dietary routine, if you've been at the beginning of the, the stream here. So I'm cutting my carbs, I'm cutting down on sugar. I haven't had sugar for a... Like, like concentrated sugar, or even fruit sugars for the most of it, uh, for nine days going now. So I've had no candy, sweets, cookies, pastas, bread, nothing. It's just been no carbs, no sugar. Um, my body feels fantastic, guys. It feels really good. Uh, considering I am technically a sugar addict, and I don't mean that lightly. Like, I really am a sugar addict. Time for the onion. Onion. Uh, what MRE is this from? <laughs> Have you had any other countries MREs? No, I have not. Any military tattoos? No military tattoos as of right now. I am tempted to get 
a military tattoo once I complete my artillery course. Um, but I don't know what yet, and I'm not, I haven't quite figured out why, or sorry, where I want to put it. Um, I want to finish off my sleeve, because, well, you know, it needs doing, it's not completed yet, I've only got partial parts of it done. So I really want to finish my sleeve off, so I'll probably tie my artillery, I guess, idea into my sleeve somewhere. I just haven't figured out quite where yet. Let's cut this beautiful onion up. If I start crying, I apologize. It's not because I'm emotional, it's because these onions make me cry. Uh, is it crayons and glue? Hey man, I'm no marine here. Like, marines are the ones who eat the crayons and the glue. I eat the uh, bird droppings and uh, rat feces. That's what grunts eat from the military army side. Just kidding. Um, no, I'm not eating crayons. <laughs> That's awesome, though. Uh, we were supposed to have classes today, but classes suspended because of the heavy rainfall. Well, that sucks. What's the difference between British and Canadian MREs? Uh, British MREs tend to have a lot more food uh, quantity in there. Uh, they also have a lot more different little ancillaries. You get a lot more like tea bags and all sorts of different stuff, chewing gum. and Whereas uh, Canadian MREs don't really have that. Uh, Canadian MREs are also fine in terms of um, the length that they're required to cover you for. A British ration pack is supposed to cover you for 24 hours. I find that a Canadian MRE does not have the, I guess, the physical quantity of food to cover you for 24 hours. It, it covers you basically for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now, so does the British ration pack, but you do get quite a bit of quantity in there. So you could have one of the evening meals for your breakfast and it would cover you almost past your lunch time like they they last they last a long time in terms of the quantity so that's one part that's definitely different about the british um and canadian mres the taste they're, they're, they're pretty similar i mean it's it's compressed most of it's dehydrate dehydrated food um the biscuits and the cookies are all dehydrated super dehydrated actually and the meals like the packets for the british ration packs are like this big like they're big, they got quite a bit of stuff in them. Whereas the Canadian ones, let's just do it from kind of a perspective like this. So like a British, British ration pack, like a, just a normal meal is about that big. Like the packet is about that big. A Canadian one is probably about that big. So it's about half. Um, so it is, it's fairly different in terms of sizes. The taste is the same. I mean, they taste just as good. I've never had a problem with the taste of any of the ration packs I've eaten, but that's because I'm accustomed to them. I know a lot of people in the um, in the first stages of joining the army or any kind of military when they go through training, they've never tried rations before. Everybody's like, oh, I'm not gonna eat that. I'm not gonna eat that. It doesn't taste good. Trust me, when you go on an operational deployment or you go on an exercise longer than three or four weeks, you'll eat whatever's in that box, even if you don't want to, because you have to. You need to get the nutrition down your neck you start getting picky by saying, I don't want to have beef stew. I don't like stew. Well, guess what? You're going to like stew by the time that exercise is done because you don't have a choice. You need the calories. You need the food. You're going to get miserable if you don't eat. Your palate, your taste palate, changes very quickly. So, you know, don't frown upon trying new foods. You're going to get used to it. That's how rations work. You have to open your palate up a little bit more and be more accustomed to different foods. Give me a juice box. What's for dinner? We're gonna have vegetables, which is basically onions and peppers, red peppers, and we're gonna cook some chicken, just plain chicken. Hey man, I'm from Ireland and I want to join the army. If you won't get that much out of the Irish army, so I want to join the British army. Uh, no, it's not weird for an Irish person to join the British army, of course not. Any tips for anyone joining? Uh, keep fit, stay positive, um, Make sure you know what you want to be. I've done lots of videos on it, folks. Go check it out. I've did a video called, uh, So You Want to Join the Military, Prepare for It, all these sort of things. So, hello, Will Murs. What's the rifle for the Canadian Armed Forces? The C7A2, 5.56mm AR-15 platform. Eating chicken and rice. Where in Canada are you? I'm in southern Alberta, my friend. Um, on the west coast, kind of west coast of Canada. That's from out. So it's time to chop some chicken up. Most people chop chicken up with a knife. I'm kind of weird. I find it a lot easier to just cook, kick, chick, cut it. <laughs> to cut chicken up with some scissors. It's so much easier than trying to mess around 
getting a you know a knife and cutting it and it's literally grab a pair of scissors grab your chicken breast and chop it into segments it's really not that hard um obviously i can't uh, i can't um accurately slice east pizza chicken into the right sizes like a knife would but i can make a good guess of it so that's okay so i appreciate you all stopping by today on the stream i'm surprised you've all come to watch some loser in uh, canada cook stuff on a thursday evening morning afternoon wherever you are in the world but here we are and here you are so thank you for joining me you know it's funny i was watching those you know weirdest trip twitch stream things last night and uh, there really are some weird streamers out there. Like, I am baffled by how these people don't look at what they're doing and think, is this sane? Like, is this a smart thing to do? These people must have, some of them for sure, must have outside jobs, outside professions, hobbies, friends, family, I don't know. And the things they're doing, I'm just like, what are you doing? Like, why? You're just literally doing, I mean, most of them do it obviously for attention and for um and for money now for me i'm doing it because i'm bored and i like to keep someone's keep me company no one's around the house right now so i'm kind of just chilling out and uh, so i thought i'd come chat with you guys plus it just stops the monotony of cooking because my cooking isn't exactly exciting so but yeah twitch streamers are funny people man they got some weird stuff going on and what's this thing like now they're walking in the middle of the streets Rue, bugger off, don't you dare. Get down, bad kitty. Get down, get down, up or down. Ooh, you little damn cat. Push is gonna knock the camera off. I precariously set the camera up on a, uh, on a tripod on the other end of the kitchen and it's, it, all it's gonna take is one cat whisker and it's gonna fall over. So let's hope she doesn't come back down here and cause a ruckus. Or should I say a catus? Ah, so work was hell this week. Hopefully we're Gonna have an easier day tomorrow. I uh, am looking, really looking forward to the week ending and having the weekend. J Ladies and gentlemen, guess what? It's gonna be a weekend of streaming and gaming. I have the, the whole weekend free. I'm gonna be firing up the streams left, right, and center. We're gonna do some War Thunder. We're gonna play some Stellaris. Yes, you heard it correctly. We're gonna play some Stellaris. A good friend of mine donated it me. So me and him are gonna jump online um, we're going to play some Stellaris together. I might even inv invite some of my other buddies who may want to play. We're going to stream the crap out of that. Uh, we may stream some squad again. I know a number of people like me doing some squad, although my last latest video of squad really didn't get any views, which is fine. It's just surprising to me because uh, a lot of you have been asking for me to play squad. And yeah, so the whole weekend, guys, we're going to do lots of streams, lots of questions and questions and answers. So if you want to answer me quick, ask me questions or... You know, just have a chat, plenty of opportunity to do so. So if you weren't able to make this stream today, trust me, you've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm all yours. We're going to have a blast, we're going to have a chat. We'll do some more interesting things. I've got a surprise possibly waiting for you all on the live stream um, that could be coming. So lots to look forward to, everyone, this weekend. Like I said, free weekend. I'm all free. We're going to have a lot of fun with it. Um, so, yeah, come hang out. I will make sure that you're all fully notified. You have tons of advance warning, so you know it's coming. But just to give you a heads up, lots of live streaming coming this weekend and some new videos too, because I haven't done any new videos for a little while. Okay, let's get this spicy, spicy chicken going here. I just talked about crazy people on Twitch and now I'm acting like a complete mom. Uh, anyway, so let's get this chicken going and we'll get the veggies on shortly afterwards. Now, I don't know if I should actually add any spicy spice or any kind of uh, additives to this because I'm not allowed sugar. And you start going into a really tough place when you can't add sugar to things. Uh, so we'll see how we do. Get the chicken coated in the old greasy grease. You know, every time I think of grease, I always think of The Simpsons, for the episode where him and uh, Homer and Bar are like grease racketeering. It's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> anyway. Um, if you want to join the Army Air Corps, or should I join the RAF instead? Is there a big difference? Uh, I don't know, man. What do you want to do? Like, if you want to be involved with helicopters, ideally you want to join the Army Air Corps. If you want to join uh, to be involved with fighter jets and planes, big heavy-duty planes, you're going to want to join the Royal Air Force. So, it's kind of, yeah, it's olive oil. Uh, it's kind of, you know, whatever you want to play with, I guess. Uh, 
Do you ever work in Dundurn? No, I do not. Stream gone quiet, it's gone quiet. Norwegian Marines put chili on everything. You know, in the British Army, actually, we put uh, Tabasco sauce on everything. And so much so that there's a Tabasco sauce uh, glass inside every British Army ration pack. No word of a lie, there's a miniature Tabasco sauce in every single British Army. Can you play Armour 3? Maybe Canadian Blackhawk, maybe in the future. Where's Tank? Let's get Tank in. Let's get the big boy in. Come on, Tank. Come say hi. Come. You're not having chicken. Sit down. Go boy. Come here. I don't know if you can see him or not. Come here. Sit down. A oh, good boy. A oh, good boy. Oh yeah, you are. You good boy. Lay down. Lay. Good boy. Up. Up. Oh good boy. Good boy. You want a treat? Oh. <laughs> He's off. He's looking for the cat. He's like, where's the cat? I always have to check that the cat is in the house. If the cat is not in the house, I start to go a little crazy. Plus, I think we've got a thunderstorm coming. So he's kind of doing crazy things. Tank, come here. Come here. Come. Come. There you go. You just watch there, then people can see you. He's like watching you guys. He's like, what do they want? I'm trying to look for the cat. You are not having a chicken chunk. I know you want a chicken chunk, but you can't have one. You can't have a chicken chunk. He wants one so bad right now. You want you want chicken chunk? I tell you what, when they're cooked, I'll give you a chicken chunk because your puppy dog eyes can melt my literally melt my heart. Your puppy dog breath is melting my soul right now. So I'm glad you've moved on and come back later for your uh, chicken chunks because oh my god, it stinks. Poor old boy. I want dog meat. You're a weird individual, Wilmers. I knew you'd cave. Cave, yeah, I did. He's got he's got the cutest face in the world. How am I not supposed to? Um, cool, I was a Lynx pilot. Love your content. Jack of all, that is badass, man. You're a Lynx pilot? I flew in the Lynx a few times. Absolutely amazing experience. It was kind of a ride along. It wasn't for operations or anything, but it was fun. Those helicopters are badass. I did a, a flight in, uh, I did a ride along for a recce in Poland too, on a uh, Gazelle. That was a fun little aircraft. I tell you what, if you, it's like being literally in a bubble and you can see just about everything. It's pretty scary in that aircraft. Uh, Lynx are some good looking gals. Did the army ever let you have any of the heroin you were stealing from those farmers? You're a weird individual, cold cuts. Dakai, or videos on the paras. You want me to do videos on the paras? I can maybe do that. The bad breath means his teeth, teeth are decaying. When it happened to my pup, he had teeth, teeth removed. Yeah, we give him the dog chews and all that stuff. He's also just really old. Um, He's a very healthy dog, actually. We took him to the vet. He's not overweight, although he looks like a fat Twinkie. Um, he's not. He's, he's doing really good, but he is just old. And, you know, unfortunately, teeth and gums and stuff don't do as well when you get older. So he's just hitting that, I guess, stage of his life. But uh, I still love him to death, even if he smells like a sewer. In goes the vegetables. Tank, you want your chicken chunk? Tank? What are you doing? He's just sat in the other room, just kind of like, well, you didn't give him a chicken chunk quick enough, so now I'm just going to give you the cold shoulder. Tank, come here and come get your chicken chunk. Come here, buddy. I've got to pick one out without burning myself. Ow. Come here, come. Come here. Sit down. Oh, chicken chunk. Oh, chicken chunks. Good boy. I'm going to wash my hands from your smelly mouth. Get out of my kitchen. Go. Get out of here. Shoe fly. Just kidding. No, that's it now. No more chicken chunks. No more chicken chunks. Go. <laughs> he thinks I've got chicken chunks in my hands. Tank, go. You're not having any. Let's add some spicy spice to this. I don't know what I'm going to put in it, but... Let's see what we got here. So we got a uh, seasoned salt. That's not a good idea. No. Nope. Um, I think we're about to have like a classified hurricane in my neighborhood right now. 
the uh, weather has gone all of a sudden absolutely crazy. Cajun! I'm going to put some Cajun in there. A little spicy space. But I want meat, you sob. <laughs> use some paprika. I could use paprika, but I'm going to use some, uh, some Cajun. A little bit of Cajun. Also, Super Puma and Chinook for evacuation of wounded soldiers. That wasn't pleasant. Uh, I guess so. I also live in the Philippines. I was eating ice cream, not even had favorite... Uh, I don't know what that means. Okay. Cajun is... Cajun his chicken. Cajun is not spelled like that, but yes. Tap the lab 25. Lab 25. Do you smell one man is cooking? Cayenne. Yeah, I don't have any of that. I should put some truffles in there. I should go truffle hunting with Tank and put some truffles in there. I did read it. I try my best to read all your comments, folks. I try to interact with you as best as I can. It's not always that easy, especially when I'm cooking. But uh, I always try to interact with you folks when you're doing live streams, so. Opinions on the Moag. Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't have any opinions on it right now. I'd have to do some more research. Take care, Nick Hogenberg. Fajita Spice. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's get this Cajun on here for all cooks through and a company more on. Spicy, 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 There we go. Happy days. Ooh, that's rich. That's some rich spicy space right there. Ooh. I think I might have put a little bit too much Cajun on there, but that's okay. Get some Cajun on there. Do, 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 do. I am so hungry, I can't wait to eat this. I don't think you guys are going to want to watch me eat it. Still need some more cooking time. Here we go. Maybe we'll just chuck a couple more spices in there. Holy cow, literally, my neighborhood is... I think a tornado is coming. I literally think a tornado is coming. My, my city is quite inherently windy as it is, but uh, this is insane. Like, maybe I'll show you guys in a second how windy it is. I can hear my whole house moving. Like, that's not good. That's not good at all. And no offense to Canadians, when it comes to building houses, you guys build them out of, like, matchsticks and paper. Whereas in good old UK, we build them out of bricks. Bloody bricks, don't we? What are you guys talking about? Very little. It's all gone quiet. Everyone's bored. I don't blame you. You're watching me cook chicken and vegetables. How do you know anything about the JF-17 fighter jet? I, I don't know anything about it. It's 9 o'clock in North Carolina, and I'm sitting on my couch watching Maximus cook. Well, thanks for joining me, Owen, uh, in North Carolina. Opinions on the new Tempest. Haven't looked into it yet. More salt. Why no sugar, Mr. Chef? No sugar, because I'm on a strict no-sugar diet right now. I am a sugar addict. I've realized that uh, my leth lethargic nature and my increased weight gain is coming from my intense addiction to sugar and constantly eating it. So it's time to stop, it's time to stop um, with eating tons and tons of sugar. So I've reduced it to almost zero uh, because uh, I think it's good for me. I think it's good for everyone to start realizing that sugar is really something that you need to um, stop punching down your throat so much. Like it really is, it's everywhere. And I'm not one of those hippies that says nothing to nothing and don't do this, you know, that's not my point. Do what you wanna do, eat what you wanna eat. We're humans. With so much misinformation out there and people telling you what to do, when to eat it. If you're healthy, then good. I'm finding myself becoming unhealthy, and that's not a good thing. And when I hit that alarm bell ringing in my head and my body's telling me, that's when it's like, okay, time to comment on the sugar. We're going to go and figure something out here. So that's what I've done. I've reduced pretty much all my sugar intake, uh, taking it easy a little bit more because it's, it's not a good thing to have overdoing it with sugar. It really isn't. Opinion on pineapple on pizza. I love pineapple on pizza, dude. Hawaiian, yes. Can soft come or JTF2? Um, I don't understand that question because they're almost the same, aren't they? Like, I'm not a special forces guy, but JTF2, Seesaw, are under Canadian special forces operations, I thought. So I eat way too much sugar, but I look like a stick anyway. That's good for you, Charlie. I, I'm glad that you... Um, I'm glad that you're able to eat it and be good and healthy. Unfortunately for me, being an old man now, I'm 30 years old, um, and my lifestyle that I live, that I'm forced to live for the most part, um, I cannot continue eating sugar the way I am. So it's 2.02 and I'm tidying my room. Dude, go to bed. You know, your parents or something? Like, I don't know if you live in your parents still, but if you clean your bedroom at 2 in the morning in my house, you'd be in a lot of trouble, son. I'd be in there like something. Okay, it looks like we're nearly done with our food here. Um, we're going to have a little tasty taste. Actually, no, chicken probably do it a little bit longer. 
give the chicken a little bit more time here. I have put way too much Cajun on this chicken. Way, way too much. Never been into sweets much myself. Gotta love those savories. Mind you, chips aren't that great either. Oh, it's anything with carbs, right? Because carbs is sugar. Carbohydrates, uh, starches, it's all technically sugar in some regard. It gets transformed into glucose, so um, you just gotta be really careful. I mean, I don't know what I'm talking about for the most part when it comes to scientists, uh, science and, and health, but I know that tons of carbs is just not good for your body. If your body can't use it, it stores it as fat. Uh, it's not just the weight loss thing that I'm concerned with. It's the fatty liver disease that's causing major problems. My teeth, you know, constant sugar is not good for your teeth. Us Brits are found, found, renowned for having bad teeth. My teeth are actually really good. Um, so what rank am I? I am just an untrained private, lowest of the low right now. Uh, what happened to JTF1? Look it up, maybe I'll do a video in the future. Pasta is good in training. Yes, carbs, within reason, if you utilize them correctly, are good for you. But I am not working out crazy, so, you know, it's it's not great for me to just put on carbs and tons of calories. What's cooking, Matt? Hello, sports shot. Would you play Insurgency Sandstorm? Probably not. Uh, should I go to college? I would do whatever you think's best Liam Fleming I've done a video on this look it up it says so so you think you should join the military or something like that Just scroll through my videos I have a whole video that goes through everything about those who want to join the army go check it out if you want my opinion on whether or not you should join something or do something go look it up Charlie Harris I am free from all tomorrow sorry Friday Saturday Sunday we're gonna do streams I'm gonna make as many videos as I can equipment reviews and a lot of you have been asking me for a lot of different equipment reviews I've neglected that for quite a while now, so I apologize. We're going to get back into making some equipment reviews. I've been having some fun on my channel. I've also been going through a really tough time personally. I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Uh, not much, but I'm recovering, which is good. Um, so, you know, being around you guys, live streaming is fun. We're going to play some video games on the weekend. But I'm also, when I'm not live streaming, working really hard to get some good content out for you before I go away in the next few weeks uh, on my army training course. Uh, so I'll be away with the Canadian Army doing tons and tons of stuff. I uh, won't have time to do videos. So I really need to kind of focus on making the videos before I go so that I can release them while I'm away so you guys aren't like, where's Maximus gone? Okay, it looks like supper's ready, folks. We're going uh, to turn the hob off. Give me a little bit of clean up here. Um, and then we're probably going to have a little chat as we eat. I don't know, maybe we'll see how we do. I'll uh, bring the... Uh, I'm just going to eat straight from the hob because I'm weird like that. We're going to eat straight from the hob and let it cool down, of course, first. And whilst we let it cool down, I'll have a little chat with you all again. Where's Matthias gone? I'm right here. I'm right here. I won't leave you. <sighs> nice infrared hob. <laughs> Thank you. Since you're free on the weekend, I want to try and sneak in a game of War Thunder. Yeah, definitely. We can definitely try and do that. What do you do apart from the reserves? I work in the aviation industry. What's your opinion on the Soviet RPD LMG? Uh, I'd have to do some research on it. Matt, what happened if you don't mind? Uh, I can't, I, I really don't want to talk about my own personal mental well being right now. It's not something I wish to share. So, definitely with an online community, it's just not a good thing. There's a lot of YouTubers who like to spill everything about their lives. I'm not that YouTuber. I'm, let me just tell you this I'm going through an extremely tough time in life and uh, a lot of mental stress, and I'm just dealing with it as I can. I don't need to really share much more than that. So, um, will you do a video on the T-62? I'm pretty sure I've done a video on the T-62. Or maybe I only did the T-55. Mm, I'll have to look it up. Thank you, Infidel Castro. I appreciate that. Paw Patrol or Octonaut? Damn, you know it's that damn Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol. We'll be here on the double. Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol. I don't know the rest of the words. Trust me, man, I know every, every Paw Patroller, whether it be Zuma, Sky, Rubble, you know, I know them all. They're all badass, okay? Every one of them kicks ass, you know? Tank is actually um, gonna be starring on the show pretty soon. He's his own pup. He's gonna be the army pup. <laughs> He's gonna be the icon. I can just imagine that now. Oh my God, that'd be epic. Having an army pup in Paw Patrol and Tank just shows up in like a tank. That would be amazing. Like a Husky Cross Shepherd mix. Paw Patrol kicks off. Like they got the cop, they got the fireman, the recycle guy, the helicopter chick. Um, who else they got? Um, 
the water guy, you know, the snow chick, and she's got her own like little ATV snowmobile thing. And then it's like, then it's like a Husky Cross Shepherd mix tank in his own armored fighting vehicle who just shows up. He's like, yeah, I'm just here to take names. <laughs> that would be like the best Paw Patrol skit ever. I would, if I was good at animation and could animate, that's what I would do. I would totally rip off Paw Patrol and like, you know, like, um, What's it called? Uh, robot Chicken. I do a Robot Chicken episode of Tank in like his own military vehicle. And the Paw Patrol are just going to save a cat from a tree or something. And Tank shows up in like a, like a Challenger 2 and just like busts the tree down. He's like, that's how we do things in the army. Like just doesn't care. It'd be absolutely amazing. That's just made my day just even thinking about that. Uh, that's how sad I am. Anyway, continue on. Let's have a bit more of a chat. I think my food's going to be fairly cool by now. Uh, it's still a little warm, that's because I've left it in the pan, but that's okay, we'll let it cool for a little bit longer. Have you seen the new Embraer KC390? Negative on the Embraer. Or oh, shoots the branch off, yeah, or takes the cat out. I have qualifications to join the Royal Engineers, but one math review, please answer join, what do you think I should do? I have qualifications to join the Royal Engineers, you have to ask again, it's too fast, my iPhone screen is too small. You should go on vacation. I can't go on vacation. All my vacation is being used up to go on my military course. This year I don't get vacation. <laughs> I know someone that could make that happen with Paw Patrol. Really, Jack? If you do, come see me, because I think that would be an amazing skit. It'd be hilarious to do. Without copywriting, so we'd have to be careful. We'd have to call it, like, dog... I don't know. <laughs> dog... Uh... I don't know. We'd have to call it something like that. Can you do a video on your vest setup? Yeah, I can do that, Canadian Blackhawk. Definitely do that. Oh, it's gone quiet again. Any tips for getting better sleep? I've had about two hours in the last two days. Get off sugar. That's a good start for me. I've been sleeping a lot better not eating sugar. I tell you. I'm telling you. I am doing so much better physically and mentally without sugar. What's your opinion on beef vindaloo and garlic naan? Oh, man. They're so good, William. Beautiful. Greetings from Colorado. Hello, Brian Damage. That's a bra brain, Brian. Get it. I get it. You got me. Can you do a video on the Gloucester Regiment? I might do British Regiments in the future for sure. Uh, I'm going to head off myself. Enjoy some food, Matt. I hope things continue to improve you. We'll send you some prayers your way. Have an awesome day. Take care, Ryan McFowl. I appreciate you being here. Renamed to Tank Control. <laughs> tank Control. Everybody's in track vehicles. Paw Patrol spinoff. Dog Guard. I like that. Hashtag Dog Guard spinoff. We need to get someone who's really good at graphical design and animation and do that. We'll just like have rip off characters for the, the genuine Paw Patrol like dogs and vehicles. And then we'll have like Tank as his own vehicle who just like ruins the show every time. Like the Paw Patrol are like trying to save a seal from the, from the sea and pulling him in. And the Tank's just pouring off the coast, aiming the gun off and just like just takes the seal out. Problem solved. Go for the root cause, right? Why save a seal when you can just blow it up? I can do animation, but it's so stupid, it's funny. Mmm, stupid and funny. Mm, I don't know if that's the best option. Uh, have you had a haircut? Nope, this is just my normal haircut. When Matt wants to get a copyright strike from a kid's show. <laughs> Apache's an IFB, what should it happen? Oh, sorry, I didn't get that. Do you like Hearts of Iron games? Yes, uh, I have been gifted it, I just haven't learned it yet, so. Um. According to CNN, Paw Patrol is fascist. Oh my god. I'm not talking politics here, but that's that's almost tragic to hear. What tank would be Dog Guard's vehicle? Uh, it depends on what... We, I guess we should have like a multitude of vehicles, hey? Like a T-14, a Challenger 2, a Leopard 2, like uh, Abrams, like a Leclerc. All of the tanks, and they can all be the different Paw Patrollers. What's your editing software that I use? I use uh, Cyberlink. According to CNN, everything is fascist. <laughs> Taking notes on Dog God. Oh my God, Sports Show is actually preparing to do a series called Dog God. <laughs> and he's gonna make millions. I mean millions, and it won't be kids that will watch it, it'll be people like idiots like me. RCAG, do you play Battlefield 4? No, I don't play Battlefield 4, unfortunately. How would you make the Challenger better? I would make the Challenger better by um, improving its power pack, because it's something I know firsthand is not that great. And I've heard a lot of good news coming recently as to that may be a possibility that they're gonna do that. When When's the Canadian War being built? Have the USA not finished the Mexican War? I, I don't know. Uh, 
There should be an old bulldog with a Churchill tank. Grow in the P-1000, if you will. The gun or the ammo, though? The gun should probably change and the ammunition. The problem is when you change the gun, you have to change the ammunition. To change the ammunition, you have to change the superstructure of the vehicle. And that's too much costly, and they're not going to do it. So Challenger 2 will stay with a 120mm rifled cannon probably for the rest of its service history. It will not smooth bore. It'll, I will be baffled if the Challenger 2 changes from rifle to smooth bore. If they make that choice, I'll be baffled. The superstructure of that turret and the vehicle would have to change so much. Take, take care, Patrick. The ammo should be incendiary. I'm actually learning about incendiary ammunition right now for the artillery, so... Whoa, that guy has a name. I went to Switzerland recently, not sure what was good about it, but the flag was a big plus. Are there any games that are coming out that you're looking at getting? Uh, Infidel Castro, not really. I don't. I haven't been focusing on gaming so much lately, so... Matt has feigned an interest in dog god. Smoothball for life. Rifled for life. I'm 36 now and I can still come back to my MJK Norway. Is there a Challenger 3 prototype? I don't believe there is, and there won't be for a very long time. It's just not expensive. It's just, it's not, uh, it's too expensive. Hello, the Royal Rat. Welcome back, buddy. Nice one, Charlie. What's the time in your area? Uh, it is 7.14 right now at night. I'll take that as a yes, Matt. Yes, Sports Shot, you make this series. I'll put it on my channel. I'll give all credit to you. How about airburst artillery rounds? How do airburst artillery rounds work? Uh, good question. I haven't learned about it yet, but I'm very interested and keen to learn about it. So, I know how in the concept it works, but I don't know how it technically works. I know the fuse has some sort of sensor that allows it to be timed before it hits the ground. I think something like that. I know some more modern high-tech ammunition actually has like an altitude sensor or altometer in it that knows how high it is and will blow up. What's a battle? Shell Drake, you know exactly what a battle is. Just saw one of your comments in one of the potential history videos. Ha! Awesome, Connor. Glad you saw that. Can't wait for dog guard. Hashtag dog guard. We must do dog guard. I know there are concepts for the Leo 3. Yeah, but the Leo 3's got some weird... The, weird, the Leo in general's got some weird things going on with it right now. With the whole Leclerc, Leopard mix. It's kind of weird. Uh, take care, James Bodnachuk. That's an awesome name, by the way. I love your last name. Bodnachuk. Uh, it's also 915 in my area. Awesome. Hey, Matt. When you come back with the Steel Beast series. Hesha, hey, Levy. I need to get back to it. I honestly totally agree. Maybe this weekend we'll do a live stream of Steel Beasts as well. Matt, I'm afraid of Dog Guard on my channel, so that could be on your channel. My teachers found out about my channel. I will put Dog Guard on my channel. That's fine. Make Tank a challenger. He, he's already a challenger. Also, is there cooking with Matt or talking with Matt? Well, it was cooking with Matt. We've already finished cooking, folks, so I apologize. You're a little late to the... I can't cook for an hour. <laughs> um, we cooked... Uh, let's try this out. Oh, that's so good. That's so spicy. And it's got the Cajun in it. Oh, that's so good. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Mmm. It's so good. Mmm. Yeah, that's good. Paras or Royal Marines? Mm. I'm army, so I'm always going to pick Paras. But I was going to join the Royal Marines. What is it? Royal Rat. It is chicken. Literally just chicken. Onions. Red peppers and a bit of spicy, spicy Cajun mix. Well, it's not even Cajun mix, it's just Cajun uh, powder, so there's nothing fancy in it. Uh, I go overseas for summer. Take care, buddy. I don't know where overseas. Are you serving overseas or are you just going for a vacation? Merlin or Chinook? Chinook, because I've been in it and I was supported by it. So many messages I can't keep up. I gotta go make my own supper now, Matt. Take care, Charlie Harris. Hmm, sounds good. I just got off work and I don't know what to eat. Literally, man, this tastes fantastic. I got uh, some Cajun mix from, from the keg. They make their own. It's good. It's good. What's your favorite memory from being deployed or in training? Uh, so many, man. I, I don't have a favorite. Uh, so many good moments. So many bad moments, too. But a lot of good. So I can't really answer that. Great video on YouTube about the first radar proximity fuses in defense. That's cool. Matt, can we come over? Will Mers, Sure. <laughs> Sponsored by the keg. <laughs> they should put Dog Guard on YouTube, kids. <laughs> you guys are obsessed with Dog Guard now. I don't think Dog Guard is going to become a reality. It'd be amazing if it would, but I don't think it's going to. If I could animate and have the skill to animate, I would make Dog Guard in a second. Literally, we would have like a Russian 
badass dog guard character who would be in like a TA, T90, or T14. We'd have like the stiff upper lip Challenger 2. We'd have the badass like cowboy American one. We'd have the, you know, the miserable French one. It'd be amazing. All in different vehicles of their country. It'd be amazing. And the bad guy would be like, I don't know who the bad guy would be because would be, in Paw Patrol, the bad guy's like the mayor of, of something town. I don't know what it's called, like Bumble Town or some crap. No, not Nazis. No, let's not go there. Um, I don't know who the bad guy would be, but we'd figure it out. It'd be like, I don't know, we'd figure it out. Dog Guard should have T-51 power armor. <laughs> ISIS, yeah, I don't want Yeah, that's a little deep. That's a little too deep here, folks. A little too deep. I wonder if the duo who made Hot Fuzz could help. What do you mean by that? I don't know what you mean by that. Anyway, folks, I'm going to cut the stream now because uh, I'm A, really hungry. Oh, Royal Rat, thank you for your donation. Does the A10 work when you aren't playing a game? Also, I'm out to find food. Uh, the, 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 the A10 doesn't work right now. I'm on my iPhone. I'm sorry. But trust me, folks, I have tons of streaming coming out this weekend, tons of live streams. I have the whole weekend free. I can't wait to have some fun. Chill out, you guys. Tons and tons coming. So I know I'm cutting the stream now. Believe me, there's going to be a lot more streams coming. We're going to do War Thunder. We might do Still Beast. We'll do some questions and answers. I got a surprise stream right maybe coming, discussing something completely different and some fun things going on in the background. So trust me when I say this, a lot more streaming coming. Come check it out. Come hang out. If you're watching this in the past, uh, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of today's Cookie of Amatimus. If you want to see more of it and check out the upcoming live streams that again, you'll probably... Take care, folks. Bye-bye.